What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a few things on the go-kart here that need to be addressed, as well as updating you guys on the current status of the wing um, that, I was, that I've been working on in the past few videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so since you guys last saw the go-kart here on the channel, uh, Matt and I were working on mounting this wing to the go-kart. And if you remember, we had an issue with it being way too high. So what I did was I went out to the local hardware store, Marshall's Industrial Hardware, and I bought a pair of these cool little triangular brackets. And they already had holes drilled into them. Um, for some things, but then I had to go ahead. I'm gonna flip this over here. I um, Went in and actually drilled a Hole here and a hole here for it to mount straight to the wing and then it had a few other holes for the wing pivoting rod and For some of the cable attachments. So now the wing is at a pretty decent height um, I decided actually I read through all your comments so thank you for leaving inputs on the uh, wing height but what I'm going to actually do is leave it at this height because when I sat in the go-kart my head is about parallel with the wing um, so I think it's a pretty decent height you know you want to make sure even though most likely this wing isn't going to be super functional since we're not going super um, you know we're not going fast enough probably to make enough downforce with this but um, you want to you know avoid lowering it because then it's just going to get blocked by more of my body so I think with someone sitting in it it kind of proportions it out a little bit better um, than you know when it at least when it was way up higher with those other brackets so just wanted to update you guys on that. I put the rod through, so now we have a nice pivoting wing. Oh, and the other thing that I didn't like with the previous bracket setup was the pivot point from where it piv like the you know the axle of pivoting um, to where the wing was was a lot higher. So instead of the wing, you know, just pitching really quick, it would kind of do more of a sweeping action instead of a you know a pivot. So with the big, you know, because the brackets space it out probably to about up here, um, the wing would kind of do more of like a, like a sweeping action rather than just quickly like up and down. So I kind of like that better. So that is where that currently stands on the go-kart. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen on my Instagram story that I actually had the wing pivoting a week from today or a week ago from today. Now I was gonna do a whole bunch of work on this last weekend, but I got pretty sick. Um, it was like I got a pretty bad head cold and it was one of those sicknesses where you just have no energy to do anything. So this was kind of like the last thing I wanted to be doing when I was sick. But um, before I started to really get sick, I set up a rough um, pivoting system with this cable I had laying, laying around. So it's really rudimentary, but I just basically taped the cable there and there. And then I took the pulley off because I was going to go get hardware for it, but I had the pulley mounted to that plate and then the cable ran underneath the pulley and up to the wing. And when you would pull the wing or pull the, or hit the brakes, the wing would pivot forward. So it was working really nicely. Um, so I was really happy with it. I had to kind of like jerry-rig a stop system because you know when you hit the brake, if you hit it hard enough, it'll just swing this wing all the way forward and go like that. Um, so obviously you don't want that. So what I did was I had on here, um, I think I had another bolt right here and then this bolt went down to the um, back side of where the pulley mounted to and it was like a, a stopping system. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a leftover spring from one of my many runs to the hardware, hardware store. So I'm going to put a spring here with a cable going up to the wing um, on top of this cable also. So that'll be kind of like a spring stop um, so the wing doesn't over pivot. But 
that'll be in the next video. I don't necessarily have enough time today to um, dive deeply into that. But one thing I did want to do in today's video is um, address the carburetor. Now, um, in the past video when I did the sound test with the new um, header, some people mentioned that it sounded like it was running lean, um, and it is. Uh, since I put on the new air filter and the new header, we're having more airflow in and more airflow out with the same amount of fuel. So indeed, it is running lean. Um, I haven't been too worried about it based on how much I've been running it. Um, so I haven't driven it since I put the new parts on. So I'm not too, I wasn't worried about like blowing up, blowing up the motor when doing the sound test because, you know, for those that don't know, what it means to run lean is basically you have too much air, not enough fuel, so your engine gets really hot. Um, it runs hot. And if you run it long enough like that, it will, you know, you'll get a catastrophic uh, engine failure. So I wasn't too worried about it because I was just doing a quick sound video, um, but I haven't driven it all. But I do have a carb jet sitting in my little parts bin over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the bowl off the carb, unscrew the old carb jet. I looked up a video. So thank you again, Redbeard's Garage, for the quick tutorial on the uh, carb jet replacement. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and put the new one on that I got from OMB Warehouse in the little hop-up kit for the motor that I got. And uh, then we'll test and see if it still runs lean or if it sounds better now. But one thing I wanted to like talk about is, what the heck? Like I bought this brand new screw on muffler and ever since I ran it, let me refocus the camera. Ever since I ran it for the first time and got this part hot, the chrome plating or nickel plating, whatever type of plating is on this thing, just started like flaking off. So I don't know what the deal is with that. If you guys have bought a muffler like this and have experienced the same thing, let me know what you did to, you know, did you take all the extra material off and then just paint it with a high temp paint or, or what, but I'm kind of not too happy with this. I paid, you know, for this whole hop up kit for this motor and the, the plating has come off. So if anyone at OMB Warehouse is watching this, not too happy with this product, but, uh, just want to fill you guys in on that and update you in case you're looking at buying the muffler from them. So maybe, you know, check out another parts website for a muffler. All right, so here is the carb jet that I got. Um, so comes with, it seems like two jets, which are these guys here, and then the emulsion tube, which goes, so the emulsion tube, you'll, I'll show you in a second when I actually do it, but the emulsion tube goes up first, and then this is the part that you actually screw out with the screwdriver. Um, so there's two different jet sizes. I'll have to see which ones I got, and then I'm gonna look up on YouTube real quick, kinda like what the best one to go with is um, based on other people's builds and videos and stuff like that, but that's what a new carb jet and emulsion tube look like. All right, so basically the, the way you're gonna um, re-jet your carb is actually pretty simple. I thought it was a lot more complicated, but First, is, first things first, make sure your fuel switch is turned off on your engine. So it's off already because the go-kart's been sitting. Um, but then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew this bottom nut here on your carburetor bowl. Um, one thing you're gonna want, maybe get some sort of cup um, because if you have run the go-kart recently, you probably will have some fuel in here. So um, just so you don't spill fuel everywhere, you can uh, have any remaining fuel drain into your little cup there. So for me, I'm just gonna use the top to a shaving cream bottle and I'll put it right below it. And as I take this guy off, the, uh, the fuel should come right out. Um, that is the wrong size wrench, darn it. Oops, so the gas is coming out. It's probably good I'm doing this because it's getting any old fuel that was just sitting in the bowl out of there. All right, so now the bowl is off. One thing I wanna point out, make sure you undo the bottom screw, not this side one, because I guess, you know, if you're, if you're not aware, you could be easily mistaken. So it's this bottom screw that will take the, the bowl off. So then literally the next step, for what you want to do um, for rejetting the carb is up this little tube here 
is your carb jet and your emulsion tube. So all you need is a proper size uh, flathead screwdriver. You unscrew the jet, emulsion tube will come out behind it, and then you put in your new emulsion tube, your new jet, put the bowl back on, and you're good to go. All right, so a little update here. The emulsion tube actually got stuck, and that happens from time to time when taking these um, jets and emulsion tubes out. So I actually had to take off the whole carb um, to allow me, I mean, I guess I really didn't have to do this after video research, but basically the jet will unscrew out. I tapped it out out of the bottom here, and then what you have to do is just open your choke and use, I use like a little paper clip and bent it out and you'll see the top of the emulsion tube inside the um, the carburetor there and you can just you know poke at it a little bit and it should drop right out so now basically all I do put the emulsion tube back up the tube here and then screw in the new jet put the new carb on and it should be good to go alright guys <clears throat> a little bit after where I just recorded um, I ran out of time when I was working on it before but so you just saw me explain how Whereas if I, the emulsion tube gets stuck in the carb, you don't necessarily have to take it off, but you can open up your choke and then use like a little bent paper clip like I have here. And you can just poke it right on out. It came out, so I put the stock emulsion tube and the stock jet in a separate bag so I don't confuse them. So now basically what I did in the meantime was I just put everything back on, reattached the fuel line, and then um, put the adapter for the high flow air filter back on and so then I just have to put the air filter on um, And then we'll be good to go All right, so I got the air filter put back on Nice and secure and then I'm jacked it up just in case um, I had the throttle since it's kind of um, Disconnected right now. It doesn't return so I don't want it to like drive off into the couch over there <clears throat> And so I just jacked it up with the jack normally I use jack stands, but they're over there I had to change the oil on the c55 today, but um, So yeah, so uh, since it's getting later, I'm not gonna um, Run it for too long, but I just want to start it up and give it a little gas to see if it uh, seemed to fix the um, lean leaning issue um, So to speak Plenty loud enough for the neighbors. I haven't, so that's not gonna fully tell me if the lean out issue is fixed. Um, I did like gas it right away to see if I heard any sputtering. Um, I didn't, so when time allows, I'll actually take it out and drive it a little bit more. Um, which will be the next clip after this. Uh, I just have to do that on a different day because I had to work on this today and then run some errands. But uh, So hopefully that fixed it, um, but stay tuned for the following clip and uh, I'll drive it around to see if it actually did. But in the meantime, this is gonna be in another video, so bear with me. But now I got all the tools or parts from Home Depot to mount the wing and get it functioning, I think. So now I'm gonna record that video. Um, so hopefully when I test this thing with the new jet and everything, um, when it's you know not so late, um, the wing will be working. So stay tuned, guys. Aside from my soul.